Our Canadians were back in the familiar territory in Broussard yesterday after taking a quick trip to Lac Meganic. This is Pat Hickey from the Gazette along with John Kenny bringing you a report on today's activities. The last game on the line had, had, a, had a good game, you know, we went, uh, created a lot of chances and, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we know the way we got to play to be successful and it's just a matter of bring it, trying to bring it every game and be consistent, you know, that's the biggest challenge. Winning small battles uh, along the walls, and you know, going that extra mile for your uh, for the guy next to you, so he can so he can win the puck, and you know, take a hit uh, here and there, and uh, uh, just bringing your your 100 percent effort. Max Pacioretty took a day off yesterday, a therapy day. He injured his wrist or hand, we're not sure which, uh, in the opening game, but uh, he says he expects to play tomorrow night. We want to get that first win as soon as possible, and uh, maybe relieve a little bit of tension and. You know, obviously it's a it's a good test tomorrow. They lost their first game as well, so uh, they're going to be hungry. You know, we're a speed, uh, speedy group of players, and we like to use our speed and and our skill. And I think when uh, we get tied up in the after the whistle business, I think maybe it gets away from our game a bit. But uh, we have an identity, and we got to you know try and establish it right now, and that's using our speed. And obviously, uh, you know, we want to have a little bit more grit this year, but uh, we got to stick with what works, and that was you know our speed up front. I think. Ryan White made news last week when he shaved off his uh, hair. Uh, White, who's known for his flowing locks, said some people were suggesting he get a haircut. He did it in solidarity with uh, the daughter of his billet when he was in Calgary, uh, who was suffering from cancer. She's fighting non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Well, I mean, if you guys haven't figured it out already, it's usually one way or the other with me. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I had the long, probably one of the longest locks in the league, now the shortest. So, uh, nah, it's just, you know, like I said, some spice up the locker room a little bit here and uh, spice up a little girl's life. And uh, I think I look good. So, there you go. Tomorrow night will be a big night for Danny Breer. He'll be facing the Philadelphia Flyers, the team he's played with for the last four or five years. Breer says he's still going to have some butterflies even though he's been around the league for a long time. As a player, it's, uh, it's fun to have those butterflies that get you going. Uh, they pump you up for, uh, for a game. So um, the more big games we have, uh, like we have tomorrow night, um, you know, I, I welcome them. For, for me personally, it's not a... Uh, a normal game. You're facing uh, your ex-teammates, a lot of friends, uh, so it'll be a little tough. I don't expect any breaks from uh, from any of them. Um, you know, there's a, and I wouldn't say publicly uh, what we can take advantage of, um, and I'm sure they're going to do the same on their side. So. Um, no. You try to approach a game like it was any other one, but obviously there's a, there's a little bit more on the line. Uh, you, you face your, your friends, but when once the puck drop, they have a job to do, we have a job to do, and um, you have to leave the friendship till after the game.